Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. We are from group 7. Today, we will be presenting about project assignment for automotive industry. Okay, this is our group members. First, Intan Nazira binti Bahrim. Second, Nur Amira Natasha binti Kamarul Zaman. Third, Muhammad Nordina bin Saharani. Fourth, Hairul Haziq bin Saini. And lastly, Muhammad Alif bin Abu Bakar. Assalamualaikum, my name is Nur Amira Tasha binti Kamar Zaman. The first risk assessment that can be found is car engine running inside and toxic sites house. For example, carbon monoxide. The hazard can be found in this work activity is chemical hazard. The possible accident that can be happen, such as the fumes may cause eye irritation and breathing difficulties, also poisoning. The existing risk controls are car exhaust is attached to extractor system when the engine is running and extractor system maintained and test to prevent leaks. The severity level is on level 3 which is medium, the likelihood of harm is on level 2 which is low and the risk level is on 6 which is the, the risk is high. Further action that can be taken to control the risk is workers are have to be trained in correct procedures. And then the second risk ass assessment that we can find uh, in work activity is contact with uh, used engine oil during servicing. And the hazard uh, is the chemical and the possible uh, accident uh, and head is the skin contact over a long period can lead to the server. Next, uh, existing risk control is the nitri glove supply and use, garage overall supply and use, contract for regular cleaning and overall, worker are informed uh, to clean their hand truly and use skin creams to prevent after contact with the hazardous substance. Uh, and then uh, the the further action uh, that we can control, the risk, uh, risk is uh, supervisor to start keeping a check that gloves are being used and risk uh, from dermatitis and skin cancer to be explained to worker. Other than that, the risk assessment that we can find is the kajak or kalif failure while the employees are inspecting the customer type, customer car the hazard is the physical and the possible pos, possible incident is the uh, crash injury fatal injury failure of the car checking or car lift and then the existing control that we can use is the physical is brake or end and stop are used to prevent a vehicle from rolling of the lift and car jet are only used where ground condition are firm and in a good condition and then uh, further action that we can control the risk is uh, stand are regularly maintained and inspected worker are trained in in court worker are trained in correct procedure uh, service every 6 or 12 months by the supplier. Okay, next for the chance radiator activity, the hazard is physical hazard which is hot temperature and a mechanical hazard. The possible uh, accident is burnt and hot and uh, the existing risk control is lift the engine until the heat reduce and do not open the radiator uh, cover during the heat. The severity level is on level 3 and the likelihood is on level 3 and the risk level is on level 9 which is extreme level and the uh, uh, further action to control this is uh, learn the right things and make weak procedure that have been taught by the instructor. Next, uh, open and install the starter activity, uh, have a physical hazard, the possible accident will happen is spark uh, and smoky, the existing risk uh, control is added to opening uh, and installation installation procedures and disconnect the main uh, source of electrical power in the battery which uh, which is uh, negative the uh, the severity levels is 
the severity level is on level 3 uh, while the likelihood level is on level 3 and the risk level is on level 7 and the further action to control the risk is uh, be careful uh, while doing the work and find out the source find out the source of uh, electricity on the battery lastly for me uh, the uh, the change and the change uh, the absorber activity have a physical hazard uh, a possible accident is uh, the absorber is thrown uh, and can cause exposure to workers who are changing uh, existing risk uh, control uh, is a remove a bolt uh, from the shock tower tower uh, and disconnect the shock from the suspicion also remove the shock absorber from the bottom and top uh, bolt the separate level in uh, is on level 3 uh, and the likelihood is on level 3 and the risk level is on level 7 lastly the uh, the further action to control the risk is by learning and training steps how to open and install the absorber the right way. Okay, Assalamualaikum. Uh, I'm uh, Mama Alif bin Awaka. I will to continue present about uh, risk assessment from at a uh, workshop. Okay. Uh, first is a uh, working 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 activity is a uh, leaking of petrol and lpg gas and the hazard is a uh, chemical gas and uh, cycle is burned uh, and the next is a uh, possible accident head and person at risk risk okay the first is a uh, explosion burn smoke inhalation property damage and dip Okay, the next is a uh, existing risk control. Okay, the first list is a uh, spillage clearance immediately, extinguishing, provide and inspect under contract. And the last uh, is a uh, LPG full vehicle park in safe place. Okay, the next is a uh, severity. Severity is a uh, tree and light and lighthood is a uh, tree and the last risk level is a uh, night is very dangerous and the last is a uh, further action to control the the risk okay the first is a uh, manager to arrange training on the use of extinguishing for all workers and second is store all flammable liquid in a sealed of secure area and the last annual fire drill to be carried out and the second point is a uh, working under site vehicle is a uh, working activity and the uh, hazard is a uh, ergonomic work poster uh, and the last is cycle pool lighting okay and possible accident have an person this is a falling object and the last one is a fatigue and eye strange. Okay, the next is a existing risk control for the working on the side vehicle is a spacious area to work and good lighting and last properly maintained lift. Okay, the next is a further action to control the risk is a Ensure the vehicle is not moved and all the equipment is in a good condition and last use a uh, complete PPE. And the last point is uh, changing tire for work activity and the last hazard for changing tire is a uh, implosion tire compression air and the last for Possible accident had and person at risk is a blush injured workers will damage internal organ if the air is put in the body. And the last one for existing risk control is uh, all workers give the trainer for safety procedure, danger of horse play and do a service before the due date and do on and the last further action 
to control the risk is a uh, use a line hose when effecting tires that are long enough for the workers and to stand at the safe place. I will be continue about table of risk assessment. Firstly, work activity. Work activity is gearbox. For hazard is bicycle. Uh, number three is possible accident. Three head and person. L risk. First, uh, the rise on finger can be severed on the gear. About resetting risk control. Number one is place this on the jack when you have removed the old gearbox and carefully slide it underneath your vehicle so that it is in the night place for reconnection with the engine about severity to leg hood to risk level 6 so dangerous uh, about finally is future action future action to control the risk so number one is learning how to install the gearbox in the correct ways number two improve the correct ways or method will work it thank you i will be continue about investigate all incident and near miss and examine the root cause firstly i want to share about hazard means of hazard is condition that has the pointer to harm an a human being while her injury or islands direction of property the direction of the environment or all combination of all about the findings if the employer carries about his job, the risk of harm can be reduced. Consequently, companies should offer training to every employer so that safety practice in the workplace can be practical. The control control is defined as the removal or inactivation of a hazard number two operate on equipment as part of their regular employment number three not constituted a risk to employees who must assess an area about selecting a sub table control number one analysis and select short and long-term control number two put in place long-term control as soon as possible right about type of control among this the employer is responsible for replacing broken equipment with new equipment so that workers may work in a safe environment in engineering control number one work and the design process are critical aspects of an project for example installing equipment in the proper location make it as for stuff it pick up and store it number two is isolation if the tree cannot be elemented and replaced we have a solution such as placing the air compressor in a safe location to prevent an explosion that that clot and danger workers number three is automation hazardous procedures can be made hazard or automated consider a hydraulic jack that operates on electricity and functions mildly to a computer driven robot expect the jack is operated by people four is obstacle 
before the dangers reach the workers they may be blocked for example if a workers is welding a car exhaust ice protection can be prevent ice ice damage from welding radiation Epi absorption sound absorber for example a closed dino room that does not describe the workshop environment can be absorbed by the approach administrative control have six number one supervise supervision and training number two job rotation number three safe work number four hygiene number five personal protective equipment number six housekeeping repair and maintenance programs wow. monitoring controls control if a key must be evaded regularly during inspiration for time maintenance and others operation evaluate and monitor hazard control number one has the problem been remedied by the control number two are the restriction posing and risk to the hazard about safe work for the queries when there is a danger safe work for the queries are step by step guidelines that allow employees to perform their work safely number one accident and hazard to employees can be avoided number two protect virtual employees number three a proceed has been upgraded with new equipment has a about personal protective equipment ppe any device need to be worn or handled by a person at work and that protect him against one or more tricks to his head and safety about documentary high range finally the person or team responsible for discovery the danger must ensure that the hazard is properly communicated to the relevant workplace authorities manager head of the department or designated person each high rate must have complete documentation to share about documentary process number one is fill in the high rate room number two record the names and protection of high rate team number three outline the workflow of the process and state it in the form under the process or location column consideration when identify analyzing and controlling risk it is referable to compare with the appropriated health and safety representative it is more effective the educate risk by consulting directly with employees and drawing on their experience and knowledge all right training employers are giving the skill and knowledge they need to perform their job safely and health healthily throughout information guidance and training it allow people to number one follow health and safety product to risk number two use the risk control provide for their safety number three is understand the natural nature of hazard the risk associated with their use and why risk construction controls are you
Assalamualaikum and hi, my name is Naamira Natasha binti Kamal Zaman and today I will be presenting about how to communicate all changes in equipment and work process to the workers. First, by the verbal communication. Changes can be informed to the employees by verbal communication at the meeting. Employees will feel secure when they are communicated effectively. Receiving the right and updated information from the employer will boost their confidence and productivity. With verbal communication, changes could be explained in an effective way to the employees. Not just that, employees also can ask directly when they don't understand the explanation given. Other than verbal communication, written communication also the way to communicate and inform the workers about the changes, either on notice board or other platform such as WhatsApp, Telegram or email. The stated notice should be clear and understandable to all employees to ensure they are always up to date with new changes in the company and follow it. They also can always refer to the board time by time to get the latest information. The third one is routine safety checks. After changes have been informed to the workers, safety officers should walk around the premises regularly to do four safety checks. If the safety officer sees unsafe behavior, it needs to be corrected at that very moment and can't afford to wait. It can help reassure workers that the workplace is safe, the voice of the frontline worker is being heard, and help the company demonstrate that next, I will explain about how to encourage workers to report health and safety concerns. If employees don't report, they may not receive proper medical attention and the employer may not realize that unsafe conditions exist in a particular area. Starting with orientation and onboarding, employees should be encouraged to report incidents, even those minor mishaps that require only an adhesive bandage from the first aid kit. How the employer will encourage employees to report the incident? The employer should make it clear that employees will not lose their jobs if they report incidents promptly and accurately. Workplace safety depends on having as many employees participate as possible reporting incidents is important, but employees should not fear the loss of their jobs for doing so. Okay, next I will explain about respond promptly to all health and safety issue for ergonomic hazard uh, who might be harmed is employees. Uh, how might uh, they be harmed by turning or bending rest when using hand tools? An action to be taken uh, by turning and bending rest is a necessity. However, uh, the user must observe uh, their hand posture uh, when using certain Next, for a uh, vibration hazard, who might be harmed is employees and how might they be harmed by hand vibration from using power tools and action to be taken is excessive vibration uh, from power tools can cause serious uh, damage to the uh, hand, including hand arm vibration uh, syndrome. Okay, next for a mechanical hazard, who might be harmed is employees and how might they be harmed by collided with uh, objects that were around the workplace and action to be taken by a uh, first aid uh, kit should be provided as a first step in the event of an accident at work. Next for chemical hazard, uh, who might be harmed is uh, employees and uh, how might they be harmed by engine parts that contain a uh, toxic chemical start to experience wear and tear and uh, degrade. An action to be taken is inadequate uh, provision uh, of clean uniform that can also uh, increase the danger of being exposed to uh, harmful chemical at the workplace. Okay, next for psychosocial hazard, who might be harmed is employees and how might they be harmed by uh, stress or work over time. Action to be taken by do something good for your health and fitness such as exercising to keep yourself fit at work and to avoid stress at work. And for noise uh, hazard, uh, who might be harmed is employees 
or uh, public, uh, how might they be harmed by removing and repairing body panels using pneumatic tools? Action to be taken uh, is get suppliers of machinery and equipment uh, to, specific, uh, to specify a noise level uh, at operator's uh, position. And lastly, for electricity hazard, uh, who might be harmed is employees and how might they be harmed by electrical shock, electrical burn, and electrical fires. Action to be taken is do not put on the wire to unplug an electronic as this can damage uh, the cable. Instead, uh, remove the plug directly from the socket. Okay, next I will talk about the measure and support in chains. First, we have adopt a team mindset. Uh, to implement lasting and meaningful change in manufacturing processes, a team-based approach is required. Leaders should always uh, include process uh, operator in discussion of positive change. Next, we have solve problems completely. The desire to find root cause uh, should be developed within teams. When teams develop the ability to uncover the root uh, cause of defect in the manufacturing process and a test that verify the capacity to turn on and turn off uh, the problem. Precise solution to problems will be implemented that will ensure uh, that the problem does not return. Lastly, we have leadership discussion. A half and half briefing can be scheduled for management and key personnel if needed a uh, feasible to build awareness. Okay, next is is uh, lead by example. Follow a uh, follow all safety regulation and lead by example to engage staff and inspire them to do the same. Most importantly, they set an example by learning from this mischief, mischief and injury that they do not occur again. Okay, next is uh, provide training. Provide training to guide the safety country is regularly maintained and to keep the right safety behavior. Training staff are also more likely adapt a safety culture since they're aware of danger and the impact they might have on workplace safety. Okay, next is uh, develop and implement a positive reporting process. Develop an assessment system that rework workers who report safety dangers or concern as one method to promote this. This firm uh, look uh, technology like incident reporting, behavior observation, incident investigation, training, and many more to see which one the best. Okay, lastly, uh, partnership working to improve health and safety culture. A manager and safety reporting evaluate lost time, injuring, and any lesson uh, learned were safely related to personnel. Line manager roles and duties were defined and they were at by staff performance assessment procedure and safety management training. First, vision as a safety leadership. Uh, a good safety leadership must have the ability to see what safety excellence look like. Uh, because, uh, saf uh, as we know, safety is the priority when you are start working to reduce the incident of the accident at the workplace. Second, collaboration with the employee. Safety leader also can interact with worker about the workplace or hazard that have in the workplace. Because uh, with the collaboration, uh, the safety leaders can improve the way they are in a uh, teamwork together and we, uh, we can uh, solve the problem together. 
and thirdly, uh, safety leader also can making training for the employee uh, be, uh, because this is the one of the most important ways to invest in employee is by offering true and ongoing training opportunity because training is the process of the enhancing the skill capability and to gain uh, a knowledge for the employee uh, to doing a particular job other than that uh, a safety leader also can give the recognition a safety uh, leader also can give the recognition to the employee who perform in the good safety for example uh, uh, the safety leader also can give the recognizing the achievement of the worker who improve the safety in the workplace and who is the contrib contribute to the safety and then accountability effective leaders can also provide assessment to employees who are responsible for their safety effort and their outcome and lastly open culture employees can also be open uh, and can express their opinion to report something about safety or hazard at the workplace and culture provide important and the social economic benefit which improve learning and opportunities to come together with the others so uh, it also can reduce the incident and accident at the workplace